All right. right. So we got some changes coming. Yep. Uh, yep. Let me get you out the door and show you the next few days, kind of break it down for you. What a beautiful day today, man. Oh, and by the way, I know it's Monday. We're talking about Saturday. This past Saturday, 3.09 inches of rainfall. Uh, just for a little perspective, I mean, you all know, unless you just flew in today, how rainy it was on Saturday. It was the wettest March day ever recorded in Philadelphia. Ever. The records go back over 150 years. The record before that was back in 1912, and it was 2.79 inches of rain in a day. So it was a significant event, and I found out that there's a leak in my chimney. Hopefully you, uh, you didn't find anything like that out yourself. All right, so for tonight, we have the clouds are going to be thickening. Beautiful night out there right now. It's not quite as cold. still a little bit chilly, down about 36 degrees. Then tomorrow, it's going to be cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy in the morning, but cloudy throughout the day. It's going to be breezy, a little bit cool. In fact, your bus stop forecast, I'll give it a C. Yes, it could be better, could be worse. It's not too bad. 38 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning, 47 by noon with the cloudy conditions. And we'll say 51, uh, a little bit breezy into the afternoon. Dry tomorrow. If you work outside, kids, you can leave the umbrella at home, or you can, the kids are probably sleeping. You can leave uh, the umbrella out of the kids' backpack uh, for tomorrow. Not bad. We get into Wednesday. This is when we see some rain, off and on showers, mainly during the daytime hours. Little bit in the morning, little bit at night, but really during the daytime hours when we're tracking that. And then Thursday, we are tracking rain moving in from the south. And we talked about that in depth at the top of the show. And we'll, we'll talk about it in just a minute. I do want to show you, though, Wednesday. So again, tomorrow, here we are 24 hours from now. Notice the cloud cover on our area. We do not expect any rain tomorrow. But the newest models here have been pretty consistent on Wednesday. A few spotty showers for you on Wednesday morning around the area. And then as we get into the daytime, we start to pick up a few more of those. So there will be plenty of dry time on Wednesday. But if you are going to be out and about, just know that you have that shower chance. <laughs> Chokes me up to think about it. Uh, the shower chance is going to be around through the daytime. Then we get into your Wednesday evening, and that starts to taper off. And then our next weather system moving in from the south starts to draw up for us on Thursday. Not a lot of rain on Wednesday. Tenth of an inch, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Certainly not a, a weather impact for you. Here's what we're still going with for the home opener. I've dropped the percentage down about 70% for rain, 54 degrees. I mean, we're going to be in the 50s for the entire thing. Uh, 5 o'clock, 55, 6 o'clock, 54. The deal with this one on Thursday is this system rolling up from the south. And where that it's a coastal system, we talk about these a lot. Where that positions itself will make a huge difference on what we experience here. If it goes a little farther out to sh out to sea, out offshore, well, it takes that rain with it. If it tracks a little bit inland, it brings the rain. So I do think there is a better chance than not to have this game uh, rained out. But as I showed you earlier. There's one model there that's going, eh, it's going to go offshore, so it might be okay. So, uh, you know, just we'll watch it. We'll keep you updated here. Looking ahead to your Easter weekend, guys. A few showers late Saturday night and into Sunday. Otherwise, minimal impact temperatures into the 60s. Back over to you.